Good evening, sir. Can see your screen. Yes, sir. So, last topic, what did you do? We did character design, sir. Okay. Tools are completed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What about panels? Panels also done. You said we'll do maybe like a flyer or a brochure kind of design. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, we'll do this uh, one second. Uh, what would we have completed in designing session? Uh, we finished character, mm -hmm. character design. The environment. Okay. Um, that's it, sir. I mean, we did the tools, panels, all of that. Right. Designing, we have completed two. One is environment, and second one is character model. Okay. Character, yeah. Okay, fine. So we'll see this uh, third option that is mobile app designing. We'll see today. Okay. Okay. Flyer designing, we'll see in Corel Draw. Okay. Why? Because mobile okay, app design sir. will be done in Illustrator. So we'll see that part. And in Illustrator, okay. Corel Draw will see the flyer design. Flyer. Okay, sir. Yeah. Let me take this mobile app screens. So these are the UI designs for mobile apps. Already we have seen in Photoshop yeah. web designing, we have seen this is second part of yeah. uh, what is it UI design. We can say. Okay, whenever okay, someone is asking for UI designing, do you know video UI designing? You can we can confirm them. Do you know there's two options? One is web and one is mobile. And one more is there software application also will be designed in UI. Uh, UI. Now it will okay. be similar to the uh, this one only. What do we say? Either this one mobile apps or it can be your website design. It will be similar to that one. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, let me take this one screen. Now we can see this is what bank online uh, so bank, banking apps we have. The banking app is any yeah. like this. Okay. First okay, one, sir. initial screen, login screen, then yeah. inside screen we can say and the details of this. Okay. okay. Now second one, this one is second one. Let me see. Yeah, education. We'll take this example. Okay. Okay. Let me see how we can maximize this one.
we have this stain, but we will take this stain. So copy this image, come back inside this one. And whenever you are taking this one, we need to have a size for this one. So what we'll do, we'll go with the yeah. mobile apps, uh, new option, under mobile category, that is yeah. mobiles. We'll take this Android device on this one, okay? Okay. Okay, Android. Maybe this is a Samsung is the Android device, one. Yeah. And one more is there, this one. Google Pixel is also yeah. Google model. Okay, so we'll take this one. Okay. okay. Right now we can see uh, width is 1080 and uh, height is this much and artboard 1, no pad, yeah. nothing, just click uh, so RGB mode, why because it will be goes one for the screen so it should be RGB yeah. mode, resolution and default settings in this one. Let's okay. This. Paste this screen over here, whatever screen we have uh, taken. Now first one, yeah. I need a welcome screen, then second screen, okay, we'll create at least two screen in this one now, out of this one now. Okay. Okay, object cropping, we'll crop this first screen on this one. This screen we want it on this one, first one. Okay. Okay, apply. So again, control V to paste. Now let's take the second screen on this one. Okay, second screen we want this one now. This is uh, yeah. students login detail and this one we can take. Otherwise, courses we can see. Okay. Like this object crop. Let me crop this image. Okay, apply. So these are the two screens we have now. This one, all time shifting. Yes. Yeah. Let's keep, okay. this one, keep this one outside. And second one, this is the first one we have to create. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Zoom. Okay, for this one, you can see right now it is an education uh, means uh, app here. So first of all, yeah. education, the name of the company, and some book icon, and some text, and some startup menu on this one, okay? Yeah. So first of all, we also should have a designing, uh, means colors to be selected first one for this one, swatches. Okay. Let's keep the swatches on this one, and try to take the color themes on this one. Let me take the... Scientific will take it. I'll keep this. I'll keep this one back here in this. Yeah. SMS. Now let me see this another one. Third, fourth, fifth. I'll take this combination. One more, so we'll see. Take two yeah. yeah. This combination will take it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this combination will suit over here. Now, so we'll take this combination. Yeah, we'll take this combination for this one okay so for this one what we need we need to have some objects to be uh, stored the colors on this one so i'm taking some objects yeah. which i can store the colors for this one okay let me select this one and apply the first color then select the second okay. one, select the second color then third one select the third color alt and drag to make a copy and yeah. D to make duplicate copy Select this one, apply the third, and then one more color that is this one. Black, so yeah. All combination I've taken in this one. Okay, one more, I yeah. take it on this one that is more dark color for this one. So double click, more darker color for this one, and take this one. One second, yeah. one second, let me apply this color on this one. So, this yeah, we'll be having a light and dark combination here. On this one. Okay, I'm closing this, yes, right now. okay. So select this all and try to keep it on the left side, which colors we are going to use on this one. So first of all, you yeah. can see the colors uh, in the background. We are having a simple purple color on this one. Take the rectangle. Yeah. Draw a rectangle completely from top to bottom. Okay. And then right side on this one. One second. Okay. No outlines, only fill color. So we want this yeah. dark color to be taken on this one. So select, use your eye dropper and pick the color. That's it. Okay. We have applied this one now. Now above this yeah. one, above this one, you can see right now this shape is there. But I'm not going to going to take the same shape. I'll take it another shape on this one. So take a pen. Okay. Blue. Okay. Let me design something like this. Okay. Go to the straight line and come back and close it at starting point. Now shift and close it starting point. I can zoom out. 
let me take the second color this one same eyedropper and pick the color and try to place yeah. it on the bottom left side now so bottom right side now so go for alignment section alignment artboard option right side and bottom this one okay what we need we need to increase the size shift and drag to okay. increase the size from this area now like this it should be okay, okay. zoom and uh, so we'll take this this edge yeah okay, we'll take it up in this one okay over here now you can see shift and drag it okay okay right now we don't have smoothness here we'll apply the smoothness on this one so directly we can apply the smoothness in this case like this okay similarly on this uh, this side also we can have a smoothness on this same this side select this and try to drag the smoothness select this and drag the smoothness on this side right now we can see we got a nice shape on this yeah but i don't want this shape now actually right now let me keep the sharp edges only but let me try little different ones take the custom shape select this one and try to bring it down in this one over here it will go up now bring it over here and this one this one and one more example i'm taking uh, alt and drag to make yes. a copy of this one yeah okay again uh, what we'll do we'll move this bottom one little left side okay and the top okay. one we'll move it move this one right side now right side and bottom this one okay and this back side portion what we have now that i'm selecting now let me apply the color for this one now let's apply the second color on this one, this one. okay for having a little 3d effect on this one, yes sir. and zoom and we can see right now it is coming outside so take this direct yeah. direction and drag this one on the edge okay right, now select this point and bring it out sorry bring it out here in this one so we should have a little outside edge you can see right now like this yeah yeah little up same on this side also we need to have this one little outside things over here and this okay. one up. yes it should not have down something in this one but yeah on top portion should be available yes. okay now see yes sir. now this is the design which i want so select this all and group it control z Okay. Because I don't want any disturbance on this now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now I need a logo for this one. So logo, we need uh, books, something like that. Okay. So yeah. So you can take the special characters from this insert only. Go to Windows, type options, and say glyphs on this one. Okay. Now under glyphs, you can go for webbing. Okay. One second. Let me take the option webbing. W. I'll get some shapes on this one. Okay. Out of this one, I'll take one shape from here. So, little zoom so that we can see the shapes and all. Let me take this shape and drag and drop this one onto the canvas here. Otherwise, take the text tool, click on this text on this one. So yeah. Let me delete. Take the text tool, click and define this one over here and try to increase the size of this one now. Increase okay. the size to 72. Right now. Okay. And if you want, you can increase this one to 300 so that you can see now. This is the shape we got here. Okay. Okay. This one we need uh, this one world also for, the, for this one. So what I do, double click inside this one, double click on this icon to display the second icon also. Let me take the third one. Okay. 
fourth one okay. we don't want this all just we want this one that is enough now right now you can see okay, two options. Okay. closing this right now yeah. So we want this color to be applied for this one. So the light color is there. So I'll take this light color and we'll apply this color for this one. Double click, cut this one, control X, click outside and paste it on this one. Okay, put this one below this. Now shift, alt and shift to decrease the size and put below, below this one. Okay. Select this and we need a name for this one. So let me take the yeah. next tool. Click over here. So let's say example M M M training. Okay. So let me take the change of text on this one. So go to the character panel. Yeah. Define the format here. Now. So should be center for the text alignment okay and it just has to go down and similarly I'll take the same, same color for this one to apply okay so one second take the same color to apply on this one okay now decrease okay. the size of the training size to be decreased for this one maybe around 100 and this one also should be around 200 okay. okay place it below this one Okay, and sorry. Select this all and group it now. Okay, group and try to align it center now. So horizontal center, okay. vertical center for alignment. Zoom. Try to organize this. One. Right now you can see uh, yep. this logo is a little big than this one. Now we can apply yeah. this now. now what I'll do, I'll right click on this one. Oh, isolate selected group. So means we are not breaking the uh, group here, but we are decreasing the size now. So double click. Okay. Make the size. Uh, right now it is 200 so maybe 150 for this one and then online training should be a little bit more decrease so make it around 60 for this one okay and all should be capitals so it's uppercase so change case and say uppercase on this one okay okay try to align this one like this now now go back yeah okay or else right click on this one exit isolation mode on this one that's it okay okay sir. okay so this is what screen we are, we are having this one. okay okay now let's go to the second screen on this one second is this one now one more uh, one yeah. option is there in this one start option in this one yeah so let me take the button take the rectangle shape draw the rectangle shape on this one try to make it a smooth on this okay take the text tool, yeah click outside let's say um, start let me go with this option. this one okay let me open this one here and try to make it again calculators for this one type change case and uppercase change case. okay let me take the same maroon color for this one maroon color dark maroon color and let's give a spaces on this one character space okay. to be 200 okay and size to be a little bit more 72 or 100 we can see yeah okay, and put this one over here this one. okay yeah it is done now. so start is done and this one is also done on this one. so let's save this one so control is to save and let's name this as mobile app design in ai okay. ai 
So what we do, what we need one more here, your opening should be there in this one. Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll take this option, go to this transform panel, transform option. Right now smoothness is there, but I don't want smoothness to be on the bottom right side. Remove the link and make it zero on this side to apply sharpness on this side. Okay. So another one what we want here now, I need to break this point here now. Select this anchor point and try to break this one. How to break it? First of all, one second, let me see. Yeah, select this one, okay, and go to this option and break it now. This one. When, when you have broken this one, now try to move this up here. One second. Okay. Select this only one point and try to move left side in this one. So I'm giving a little gap in this now. Select this one. Yeah, yeah. And two times, uh, you click two times on this one and then shift and up arrow key. So this one we want a little yeah. bit less. So select and drag towards right side. This must be okay. This 3D animation should come over here now, like this. Okay. Okay. Now under this one, we need some, uh, what is it, icon or what we want yeah. related to that one. We need to give some information. Let's put the, some image inside this one now. Okay. Okay. So let me take one image from. So uh, can you just explain me again? How did you cut? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. One second. Yeah. This one save image, okay, desktop, and say save image. Yeah. So I've taken this rectangle box example. I have taken this rectangle. Okay. Then I've applied the smoothness using this point. Then I've applied the color stroke value, so around ten. And the stroke color we have taken maroon color here. What we have stored here now. How to store it? Whenever you want any color to be stored, select that color, go to this option and apply color inside this one. So, okay, this is going to store the color. Okay. Yeah. Okay. After this one, we have applied this one. And second one, after this, take a direct selection tool. But right side, okay. I don't want right side corner to be sharp. So I make it zero for okay. the right side. Now. So make it sharp. Okay. Okay. And then click this one over here on the corner. Click the yeah. anchor point and go over this option yeah. over here now. Cut off. Okay. Back path. Yes. Okay. Once you click this one, okay. what happens? It will break. So what we need to do is select two times and towards left side, shift and left side to drag and select yeah. this point and shift up arrow key to go straight in this one. That's it. Okay. Okay. Then we have placed the text on this area. Okay, okay. sir. And uh, we can place it over here like this also. It will also look nice. So let me keep it outside. It will look nice. Yeah. Otherwise, you can take this pointer, okay, select this point and try to drag it towards right side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is not looking nice. Yeah. yeah, this much. Select this, okay, and size, how much size you want, you can, you can give the size, okay. I don't want this. Okay, we have done with this one and we want image to be placed inside this one. So file option, yeah. placement, selection of image and say place, drag a copy on this one. Okay, I'm increasing the size of the picture. Now let me place it over. Okay. Okay. What okay. we need, this object should be in the front, arrangement, bring in front and pl place the image on this area. Now. Okay. Let me decrease. Alt and shift to decrease the size. 
little bit more this much okay now what we need select this image and select this both right click on this one and say make clip mask what happened okay but what happened our object is gone now this one. so what we want we want yeah. the object to be kept as it is so select this object make a copy and place it on the out settings just i'm uh, keeping okay. a extra copy of this one now select, yeah, this, yeah. select this one and select this line both right click and say click mask now i'm putting, okay. this, putting this frame above this one now over here okay but what happened the text is not visible right click on this one yeah and go to this arrangement and bring it front of this one. that's it Okay. But that text okay. is not visible. So what I'll do, I'll double click on this image, select this image, yeah. and go to the transform panel, click this panel menu, and say flip horizontal. That's it. The image will change position. Okay. 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 Again, right click on this one, exit isolation mode. Now we can see. Yeah. Okay. But what happened? Image is not giving me the proper pro pro proportions here. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to, if you want, you can join again. You can make it a state on this one. So, but let me keep it as it is. Okay. Yeah. One second. Yeah. Let's keep it as it is. Okay. Now let's change this one. Select this all copies one, and then select the back set image. Okay. Okay. Now we need to make another copy on this one over here. Now. Yeah. Okay. Try to select these two and try to use shift right left arrow key second sorry one second let me delete this yeah one. see one second we need to have this outline also outline is also separate one yeah outline second and third one is 3d text group this one control g yeah now move this left side and try to organize one more copy on the right side now so select okay. this two alt and drag to make it another copy on this one okay Okay, and use Control D to repeat the same in the bottom now. See? Yes, yeah, sir. And we need text and image to be changed. You go one by one and change the image. Simple option for this one. How to change the image? First, we need image to be taken now. Yeah. Let's say example VFX. Images. We try first this one. Okay, click oh, save okay. image. Okay, desktop I'm saving. Yeah. Okay, let me pull this image. Now what to do? Simple. Double click on this one. Select this image. Okay, delete. And go to the file option. Placement. Select this image and place. Just click on this one to draw. And just see okay. this one, decrease the size, organize where it is, and then right click and exit isolation mode. What happened now? Okay. It has not taken inside this one, see? Even yeah, we have yeah. It, it has taken inside, but it is not visible. One second. take it out this one and go back and place it above this one and try to project it on this side right click arrangement and send it back on this one backward we can send and use yeah. uh, means control and uh, what is it flower bracket open to send back now okay let me decrease the size okay exactly and then select this one and select the frame right click and clip mask done oh, what happened Text is also one part of this one, so ungroup it. Yeah. Isolation group. One second. So isolation group in the sense it will go back again. One minute. 
let me ungroup this one. Ungroup. Yeah, select this frame and select this image. Click mask on this one. Now we can see we got a clip mask. But we want again yeah. frame we want it on. Yeah. So what to do? Initially copy this frame, then select this to make a clip mask and control shift V to paste in the same place. Okay. okay control shift V. Okay. Like this you can okay, paste. Sir. Now what is the text we have to give over here? Select VFX. Let's say visual FX in this one. Okay, and this move this towards left side. Okay. And given another color if you want it. Okay. Yeah. And otherwise select this image and try to decrease the opacity for this image. Okay. Like this you can see. The text is visible and this image is also visible. Now decrease the opacity yeah. for this one. Around 60% you can see this one. Okay. Same thing for this one also, 60%. It will be visible. Now see. Go back on this. Okay. Side. Right now we can see this effect. Yeah. So like this you can create this page also. Okay, sir. Okay. So let me delete this all. And finally, so if you have anything in the bottom, now we can see here, we have anything in the bottom. So this uh, These icons are there. How is, what is it? Home icon and all. We need to get yeah. because from this area where it, it has to go. Yeah. Okay. That icons we need to provide in the bottom here. Now. Okay. Let me take okay. this one and delete. Home icon. So home icon and everything you will be getting in the glimpses option itself. Windows. Yes. Yeah. We'll close the artboard option. Windows. Type option and say glyphs. Under this one, webding. W. No home icon. It's like to scroll down and see the home Video for video, I'm giving this option. Yes, no. Okay, select this one okay. and take the text tool, click inside and double click on this one to activate this one. Now, okay. Second one, we need a home icon. So we are having two options in this one. Okay, size increase to 72. Okay, just do yeah. Okay, so we need to separate this one now. Select, right click, click outside and paste it on this one. Now we have two separate icons. Home, it should be here. Again, we need the color to be taken, so take the color for this one now. Again, select this one, yeah. I drop a tool and pick the color. Okay, okay. and we, we, we want this to be here. Okay, use shift and arrow key to increase the size as per this size only. Okay, next one back, just move this one over here and try to move this right.
Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so I've taken these icons. Now closing this one. Okay, we want back and forward icon on this one. Yeah. So that directly we can do by using the shapes, symbols we can say. Let's go to the symbols option. In this one we can have an arrow, we can see. Okay. Symbol. Yeah. And if you want mute option, we can have a mute option and speaker on this one. Okay. Mute option is there, we can enable this one. Okay. Now just place this one over here. Okay. And just move this towards left yeah. side and try to move this. Uh, one second, let me have this another copy. Let me try any other color we can apply for this. No. Alt and drag to make a copy. Okay. okay. So we want opposite this one now. So let's go to the yeah. transform panel and flip horizontal on this one. Okay. okay. Just I'll move this right side. Okay. On this side. And then place yeah. the new type on over here and this icon over here now. So, yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, if you want properly placement to be done, you can add you can add some shape in this bottom of this one background. You can apply this colors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, so this is your completely two screens of mobile apps. Like this only we prepare the other okay. apps. And yeah. more, more important, the color combination, whenever we are starting the combination of colors, that is very important. You need to choose this. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Right. So try to uh, so see this one. And uh, today, uh, so I'll share all the videos. Okay. Okay, sir. Videos, sure. I got it. And I'll take some of the videos more now. I'll implement today. I'll send you by today, okay. right, today night. Okay. Otherwise, tomorrow, I'll okay, send the email ID. Just provide me the yeah. email ID and send it to you. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure, sir. Sure. Okay. Right. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Right. Bye.